Without further ado, let's welcome the Activated Story Family Program. So we are Dennis and Kimberly, and I am not Dennis, and that is not Kimberly. So can you guess which one I am? Kimberly, yes. yes. And together we are called the Activated, Activated Story Theater. We are here to encourage everybody to be activated. <laughs> That's because we don't just tell stories, we act them out. We use sets and costumes and props and most importantly we need your imagination do you guys bring your imaginations today yeah, yeah. good because we're going to use those imaginations right now all right you guys know what this is right wait do you know what this is it's a tennis racket or a bug that it's a tennis <laughs> a tennis racket okay you want to say tennis racket Hey! Not a Dennis racket. <laughs> but if we use those imaginations, we can pretend that it is a shovel. A shovel. Oh, that's good. That's using your imagination. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> or it could be a. Uh... <gasps> doing with her hands, what this is called when you talk with your hands? It's a language sign language. Right. We did put some sign language and other types of uh, gestures in our shows because, well, for one thing, we want people who can't hear or who can't hear well to understand what we're saying, but also your hands are very expressive. I mean, we all use our hands when we talk. Or other people's hands. We like to think that we're dancing with our hands just like we do with our feet. So, <laughs> be watching for that, and maybe you can even pick up some of it. Yes, absolutely. What? And both of 
these stories today are about the moon, especially for the 50th anniversary of the walking on the moon. Everybody make a sign for moon. And you can take your fingers and walk on it like that. How about that? <laughs> all right. Um, first of all, I, I want to open up our teeny tiny storybook. Get started. Teeny tiny. It's a bitsy storybook. Smallest storybook I can find. You said went two. What? You did two. Back one. It, it, is it, isn't this the smallest book you've ever seen? No! What? It's a big, you think this is a big book? Yeah! Uh, how, how many think this is a big book? Ah, boy, I guess I'm outvoted. Well, you know what? If you think this is a big book, you should have seen the library card I checked it out with. It was huge. All right. Our first story comes from New Mexico. Long, long ago, there was a time of darkness all over the earth. Day and night, people had to use fire to light their way, while the animals could not see what they were doing or where they were going. Kachinas 
we'll see them. But they might not notice us unless they're hungry. Ah. Uh. Well, hey, I don't mind. I don't mind the darkness so much. I mean, um, my snout won't get sunburned at least. But, 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 but listen! <laughs> if we succeed in bringing back the sun, then the Zuni will make us heroes and put our pictures on stamps. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we'll be uh, Instagram heroes. Instagram famous! Yeah. <laughs> All right. I knew you had it in you. Uh, lead the way. Oh, uh, but uh, you, you, you can, um, you, you can uh, hear better than I can. You lead. But uh, you can fly. You lead. Uh, but but, but uh, you, you have more legs than I do. You lead. Uh, but uh, I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, I'm cool! You lead. No, you lead. No, you lead. No, you lead. No, you lead. 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 Hey! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I got it, I got it. We will both lead the way. Both? Yes. You can lead the way on the ground. Uh-huh. I will lead the way in the sky! Fair enough? Okay, I guess. Alright then! We're off! Ah, uh, do you see anything yet? Uh, only a huge, huge, huge tree. Oh. <laughs> hey, uh, do you hear anything yet? No. Only the sound of water gushing up. Huh? It must be a geyser! You should have warned me no, first. You should have warned me. No, you should. Oh, you should. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. I hear something over there. Hmm? It sounds like a chainsaw. But they haven't been invented yet, have they? <laughs> oh, it must be snoring. And I see something. It looks like light. We better be careful. And quiet. I'll just crouch down so they won't see me. Ah! How many times have I told you? Not to perch on my <laughs> back. Quiet! Your noise will awaken them! You're the one making all the noise. No. My you, you are. No, you. Guys, you're me. You. 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 Shh. You. 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 Let's peek through these bushes. No, 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 no. I will look. I have better eyes. What do you see? Kachinas. And one of them has a large chest. Oh, a weightlifter, eh? <laughs> no! A chest! A, a box! Oh, right, right. And there seems to be light leaking out of the cracks. It must be the sun. Come on, let's go get it. Are you crazy? Do you want to get whatever it is they do to people? We're not people. Oh, yeah. Come on, before they wake up. Okay, just be quiet. I'll be quiet. You be quiet. I am always quiet. You're the one who yaks all no, the time. You're you. the loud no, one. No, you. 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 I got scared to Shh. Yet. <laughs> Gee. Ah. Just don't wake up. Let's get out of here. Wait. I am bigger than you are. I should be the one to carry it. But, oh, I have sharper claws than you do. You might drop it. No, I won't. Here, let me carry it. No! I got it! No, me! Me! Oh, 
happened? Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> we gotta find some place to hide. Yeah, we're in the forest. Well, I don't it's know like, where to hide. Hide behind these squirrels. Where? What squirrels? Oh, there's some right up here. Okay, these squirrels? Yeah. Okay, shh. <coughs> They're all looking at us. Ah! Oh, we gotta get away. Oh, I, I think there's a cave up here somewhere. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Behind these trees. Behind the tree. Okay. Hide the tree. Yeah, hide the tree. Yeah, there's a cave here somewhere. Oh, there it is. No. Where, where, where's the entrance? Oh, I think I found it. All right. I am bigger and considerably more handsome than you are, so I should go in first. What? <laughs> oh, uh, enough arguing already. Just go. Uh, uh, the kitchen is yeah, coming. Yeah. You go first. Well, oh, okay. I'll go first, all right? All right, here we go. Okay. All right. Into the kitchen. Right there! Oh, here we go. I know, I gotta get in there first. Okay, here we go. Ah. There's the cave, right there! I'm trying to get there as fast as I can! Right there! I know, but you gotta get in right inside there. first! No! Wait, no. wait! Okay, I'm gonna go back out then. Maybe there's another way. Ha! Uh -huh. Zoomy, 
will be mad at us for breaking their sun and letting it float away. Maybe not. We can tell them that we did it on purpose. Purpose? Yes, so there would be two lights in the sky. The big one, which we can still call the sun for the daytime, and for the nighttime, the little one, which we can call eggplant. Oh, <laughs> uh, cuspidor. of my head, we'll call it moon. I, I like the sound of it. It rhymes with a lot of words. Ooh, songwriters will be happy. Yeah, and that way they can both travel across the sky and all the people and animals everywhere will have light. Yeah, you think they'll buy that. It's worth a try. And that's the way it was. And that's the way it is. And that's the way it always will be. Now, we do have another story, but first I want to point out that we have a website, activatedstorytheater.com, where you can, what do you think that sign is? You can read stories, and you can listen to stories, and uh, do a bunch of other fun stuff. Now, before we do this story, I need to turn the page in our teeny tiny storybook. not <laughs> It is big. It's big? Yeah. Oh, then it shouldn't really be this hard to turn. Because it's bigger, it's easier, right? No, it's, it's smaller than it, I, I'll get it figured out one of these days. All right. This is another story about the moon. No, 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 no. It's a story from Polynesia. Now, people say that uh, a long time ago, 
the moon was much closer. <laughs> well, not that close. But they do say that uh, it was so close, you could almost reach out and touch it. Whoa. Almost. They also say that it was very different back then. What? Was it square? No, 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 no. It, it, it was still uh, round, yeah. but, but they say that it was just plain yellow. Uh, Oh, everybody make the letter Y with your hand like that, like that facing me. And then if you shake it, it becomes the sign for what color? Yellow. Yellow, yes. Oh, and, and hey, if you turn it to face yourself, it becomes the Hawaiian gesture meaning hang loose, shaka, they say. Hang loose. Yeah. So, a long time ago, they say the moon was just plain yellow. It didn't have any of the markings on the surface like it does now. But people still thought that the moon was beautiful. This is a story about one person who loved the moon. Her name was Hina. Hi! Yes. I'm Hina. <laughs> and uh, she was a very good... Uh, cook! Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, but she was a good... Uh, Swimmer! But uh, she was a good surfer. Shark. No, uh, but she was a good horseback rider. No, no, uh, no uh, but she was a good seamstress. Seamstress? Yes. So she did wonderful things with cloth. Yes, <clears throat> but uh, before <laughs> before she could do anything with it, uh, she first had to <laughs> she, she first had to make the cloth. How did she make the cloth? Oh, uh, she made it from tree bark. Tree bark. Tree. Did he say tree bark? Yeah. <laughs> Tree bark. On a tree. Oh, you mean like on a tree? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. Oh. Okay. Now what? Oh. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> well, uh, she pounded it with a rock. Really? You're kidding. <laughs> You're not kidding. She was standing by the stump and pound that bark with a rock. And pound it. And pound it. And pound it. Yes, exactly. Whoa! Did I do that? Yes, indeed. Whoa. And that was only the beginning. <laughs> Every day, she would pound that bark into cloth. Every day? Ugh. <sighs> Uh, I guess if I'm gonna do this every day, I'm gonna need some more tree bark, huh? Uh, you know what? It's actually kind of interesting making something new. Hey, this is new. It needs a new name. I know. I'll call it Tapa Cloth. <laughs> yes, Tapa Cloth. <laughs> Ooh, you know, I've been doing this for so long and having so much fun. I didn't even realize how dark it got. I can't even see what I'm doing. Hey, there's the moon. It's bringing me some light. Aw, oh, thanks, Mr. Moon. Okay. You know you've been working too long when you start talking to astronomical objects. <laughs> but her hard work really paid off. She made all kinds of beautiful cloth that caused all the people to go, ooh. Ooh. And ah. Ah. She even took it to the market to sell it. Huh. I wonder if anyone would be interested in buying my cloth. I don't know. They sell so many things at the market. They have all kinds of things for sale. I could try it.
Oh, I have my ups and downs, I guess. You, you talk to me. Well, you've been talking to me. I wanted to be polite, you know. Oh, that is beautiful cloth. Oh, thanks. It's my latest creation. You, you made that yourself? Really, she made that herself? Oh, I wish I had beautiful colors like that up here. Hey, maybe you can bring some to me. Oh, I wish I could, but I don't even know how to get up there. Well, it can't be too hard. I mean, if a cow can jump over me. <laughs> oh, besides, I have too much work to do down here. I have to make the cloth and sell it. And I have to do all of the chores at home. <gasps> it's late. It's it oh, Maui's going to be wanting his dinner. <sighs> I wish I could stay and talk, but I have to run. Hey, uh, you could run faster if you were up here, you know. You could go by leaps and bounds. <laughs> well, I offered. <laughs> I've got to get home as fast as I can. But now with the moon behind the clouds, it's it's really difficult to see the way, but, oh, if I don't get home fast, Maui's going to be hangry. <laughs> so, she thinks her silly cloth is more important than my dinner, huh? She thinks it's more important than anything. Well, I'll show her. Yeah. I'll just take some of her silly cloth and uh, and add some fire. Finally, I'm home. Ooh, smells like Maui's been trying to cook dinner. Ooh, it smells worse than my cooking. <laughs> so there you are. It's oh, about time. Sorry I'm late. I was uh, stuck at the office. Okay. What have you been cooking? Your silly cloth. What? Yeah, that's right. And now maybe you'll forget about it and, uh, and, and do the chores. Oh, how could you? <laughs> that does it. I'm leaving. You just got here. Yeah. Oh. Besides, my dinner is still not ready. Yeah, well, you're leaving too. You caught the house on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. Yeah, I will, by getting out of the way. Hey, hey, hey. Leave that here. No! That's mine! I worked for it! Give <laughs> me! No! <laughs> Are there any polar bears in Hawaii? No. She tricked me. Oh, I, I don't know if I should stay and, and put out the fire or go after her and get the money. Should I put out the fire? Or should I get the money? No! It's too late. The house is gone already. <laughs> I just have to go get that money now. Oh, I don't know where I'm going to go, but I can't let Maui get me. Oh, I, where am I going to go? This is an island. Uh, but Maui's just gotten out of control. Oh, it looks like Hina's in trouble. She's running away. Maybe I can help her. I'll give her more light. But she needs to go faster. Hey, maybe I can get the wind to blow, to move her along. Blow, wind, blow. That's your cue. Make the sign for wind. There you go. Thanks. It's helping. Whoa! Where did that wind come from? Oh, it's getting stronger and stronger. Oh, it's lifting me off of the ground. Yes, the wind lifted her higher. And higher! And carried her through the air! Oh no! I dropped my new cloth! Yes, her colorful new cloth sailed through the sky and it became the rainbow. Oh, the wind! The wind! Oh. Ah, the wind! It's taking me to the moon! Yes, indeed, it did. 
that she landed right on the moon and she was never seen on Earth again. But you can see her colorful cloth on the moon. The moon is no longer just plain metal. No, if you take out your telescope, everybody get out your telescope, and you look up at the moon, you can see her top of cloth all over the surface of the moon. Oh no, I dropped my shells and beads! Oh yes, she also dropped her shells and beads, and they scattered everywhere, and they became stars. And that's the story of Hina Goes to the Moon.